Hello and welcome back. Today was the day it arrived at my doorstep. The tiny SA. And uh, I could help myself back to not to switch it on. I really charged it the whole uh, afternoon. And uh, you're gonna be here with me when I switch it on for the first time. Uh, so uh, let's get to it. Yes, and here it is. Um, it comes in a very beautiful box, just like they did with uh, with the uh, Nano VNA. Well, I, I I know it from the Nano VNA H4. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but it comes more or less in the same uh, box. And the shipping was done very well. It came with a, a box uh, with an outer box with some bubble wraps, and they even put the box in some other plastic so it doesn't open so they really did a good job uh, shipping it uh, well so uh, thank you for that luckily the value of this thing is below 18 dollars on paper so there was no problem with that so thanks again for that so then you can have it below 50 uh, 50 euros to your door so that is good for value so um let's open the box what we have I remember from the from the other one that it came with a little. Uh, I will put them both in. I cannot compare it with a tiny VNA because I just don't have one. And here, this came with a uh, with a little quick start. The plugs more or less the same. A few adapters here. Oh. Here, of course, it says. Tiny SA, which is nice. You can see I really, really didn't switch it on. Uh, but it doesn't come with a quick start. But it comes with a link to a website. So what we see there, what we need to do. Yeah, okay, let's be serious for a second. Of course, we're not gonna go first to the website. Now I want to switch it on. So. Uh, Okay, it just switches on immediately. It uh, does not have the boot screen, so uh, that's a lot faster. And it is immediately set to from zero, I think, zero hertz to uh, 350. So it's now on the first port. Um, I'm going to have a little look at the website now to see if we need to do some calibration of uh, some sort but uh, yeah the first thing what you do is not go to the website you of course gonna switch it on so okay here we have the website small well spectrum analyzer 0.1 to 350 the lower input is 0 1 to 350 and there is a second input Put that does to 40 to 90 and there is a resolution band pass between two points uh, okay blah, 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 blah what we need to do first use so let's go to first use okay we have the box it's all fine okay we go to config and self test to see what we need to do okay. okay first use we connect the two ports with the supplied cable so the low input we connect to the high input the cables are really flexible that's very nice i remember from the from the vna that it was not not that flexible so that's a a plus I would say okay that is connected let's uh okay it's not uh, centered in my screen but I have the less reflections like this so uh, we need to go to the config and self test so let's try to do that config and we go to the self test well, it's doing things uh, 
self test complete touch the screen to continue everything is green so that should be good okay here in the website said you need to put signal into the lower input so i think we need to put the cable connected because otherwise that is not done so and then we go to config again nee, back back oh i click a lot of things apparently config level calibration uh, calibrate okay that is done so now i want to try the lower input and the lower input is below 350 megahertz uh, you cannot put in more than plus 10 dbm so uh, i'm just going to put a minus uh, 30 dbm and uh, see what it looks like and, and i didn't didn't change the span or anything it is just as how it started from uh, 0.1 and 350 megahertz so let's just keep it to that and then we're gonna zoom in on that okay on the lower input um yeah i put minus 30 dbm just to be on the safe side i changed already the span a little bit with the frequency from start frequency i can do well let's say one uh, no, sorry 90 90 to 110 then we are in the center and you can see it's it's quite okay uh, i can put a little bit more signal let's say 0 dbm that is allowed and then it says yeah also it says that it's a little bit more uh, then I'm I'm sure the frequency is correct of my Makoni, but I'm not sure that the level that it outputs is, is also that calibrated that well. Over the years now, I'm, I can be sure about the frequency because I'm using external reference, but uh, for this, well, let's see. Um, well, this looks good. It scans quite fast. It is doing an uh, RBW of 1.43. Maybe we can do that better. It was on auto, but uh, let's put it on 3. You can see the scanning is slower, but then you can see a lot more detail. So let's get the maximum out of it, but then I maybe zoom in a little bit more. So I, the center we keep on 100, but then we just put a span like 5. Okay, you can see already that the curve is less straight, and I saw something else here, spur removal. What does that do? Oh yeah, indeed. <laughs> Fun option. I do see here a little bit that I am doing an FM modulation with uh, one kilohertz so this that could be that that is here so maybe if we zoom in a little bit more so we change the uh, change the span if we do one megahertz what we see then oh yes let's see if I take out the modulation what happens then uh, mod level, let me see. Modulation is off. Now we still have the little things here, I think. Spin. Let's go back to five. let's go to auto mode again because it seemed it was a little bit faster let's see if you see if i modulation on 
well maybe a tiny bit in modulation of yeah almost not noticeable okay just because I want to see it I cheated now a little bit I put now a modulation of uh, 3 kHz and a level of 10k so that is uh, quite a bit it's now switched off and as you can see that this is quite uh, straight and uh, if I now put the modulation on here it is you see here this little peak here and if I switch it off it is gone so you can actually see the FM modulation so in that sense it's it's quite precise okay that was that now I'm trying to see how uh, sensitive it is so I'm just gonna now uh, have uh, minus 50 let's see minus 80 minus 80 dBm yeah it's still visible minus 120 but uh, it still says minus 93 I put now it's a little antenna that it came uh, with so let's see if we uh, we can see the broadcasts so uh, frequency start 88 stop uh, 108 yes and it does see here so if we put center in 90 90 I don't know, five. Yes, here. Yeah. 98 precise. This is a radio station, so it's quite uh, sensitive. That's uh, nice. And if I hold the antenna with my hands, so look at this. You start to see also the other radio channels. It is sensitive okay I like to see now on the second port um, if it actually does go above the 350 I'm now using uh, the other signal generator it's the WB SG1 from the famous the BG7 TBL uh, it's on the second channel so it outputs uh, 0 dBm I'm still on the first port still on the first port here at 190 well, and it shows also exactly 190 it also almost says it's like 0 dBm so in that sense they uh, agree and now I wonder if I go to the limit that would be 350 what it does this is 290 300 350 and it's gone can we really not change that frequency higher frequency stop 360 mm, no but it doesn't do it okay we change to the other port um, let's see need to go back I think it's the mode switch back mode switch to high in yes okay then we need to switch to the high in well we didn't calibrate the high port and uh, the manual also said uh, that it is a lot more complicated somehow and they direct you to a video how to do that but uh, just let's play a bit first uh, so we now to the high let's put uh, 600 megahertz well 650 is also good fine with me let's uh, you can see oh it had some harmonics um, center 650 spin no I wonder
wonder if this really comes from reflections or is it really in the I want to see in my other spectrum analyzer I hope it is visible but here I don't see the the dirt on the outside to be honest so let's go back okay uh, I, I don't know what it is because the other spectrum analyzer doesn't show that maybe it gets too much uh, signal I can try to put uh, 30 dB in between I put now 30 dB at the nitrogen in between well, as you can see it says minus 30 so in that sense that is correct but I still see a lot of noise here and I really have no idea where that comes from and I don't see it in my other spectrum analyzer so uh, yeah move on to the next uh, test well okay that, that that weird image on the right of the of the peak only happens in the high channel I didn't find it in the lower channel uh, it also has a signal generator so uh, let's see what that, uh, what that does uh, mode we go to the low out output is off 10 megahertz let's make that 200 oh. 200 megahertz minus 15 let's make that 0 0 dbm of minus 6 is most no spin 10 seconds mode let's do it on okay and now it indeed indeed is sending a signal oh. switching the light off works better so uh, yeah it's kind of clean let's do this on the higher channel as well mode high channel and I need to of course change the plug let's go again to that uh, 650 on okay that, that looks good I can maybe do a little bit zoom in on that this is with uh, 2 megahertz yeah well at least it's symmetrical so. so that was a very uh, quick test I didn't even touch the surface of all the possibility that it uh, could do but at least you have a uh, uh, kind of an idea what it can do and it is just super cool because it runs on batteries you have your antenna you can just take it anywhere and I'm really super enthusiastic and I'm amazed that I can make it for this amount of money because the controls are just so intuitive you can just click and it just does what you want and uh, I like it so uh, guys of uh, TinySA uh, well done so uh, that was my click and quick and dirty review <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you next time